Now out in the wild today, there are a ton of options to brighten up your home, office, or studio. In my place, Govi lights are the main stars, creating custom light shows that can jazz up any evening. Now sure, the Govi app on your phone is cool and all, but it's like keeping your lights in a walled garden. Now imagine this, you step into your office and the lights welcome you in with your favorite hue. Or if your calendar says party time, your outdoor lights kickstart the vibe and really annoy your neighbors. Now all of this can be accomplished not through some high-tech wizardry, but through the magic of Home Assistant. Sound intriguing? Then stay tuned as we dive deep into the rabbit hole of integrating Home Assistant with Govi Lights. Hey there neighbors, it's Ryan, your friendly neighborhood tech guy, back again on this smart house. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a topic that's really relevant as we approach the holiday season, integrating Govi Lights with Home Assistant. Now whether you're a smart home enthusiast or just love a good light show, you'll wanna tune in today. We're gonna to explore a variety of ways to get your Govi Lights and Home Assistant talking. I'll take you through all the options that I know about and highlight my favorites. Then I'll give you some examples of automations that I use daily, bringing the power of Home Assistant to Govi Lights. If any of these inspire new automations in your home, please let me know down in the comments below. And a big shout out to my friends over at Govi, who, after hearing about me starting on this project, sent over a few more lights to add to my collection. Govi actually sent over three different lights. Of course, the ones that you see directly behind me in the previous shots, the Govi Hexa Pro lights, which are incredibly awesome. Currently I have mine set to more of a low key theme and they're also super easy to install and have a flexible number of patterns you can put them in. Also the Govi String Lights H1, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And the unique and probably my family's favorite, the Curtain Lights. These lights allow you to display moving images on these teeny tiny strings of lights and are sure to get everybody's attention who drives by your home. And here's a little teaser. This video is just part one, laying the groundwork for integrating with Home Assistant. So keep an eye out for part two coming soon, which I promise will be a game changer for all you sports fans out there. So without further ado, let's jump into the world of integration. So my plan is to go ahead and approach this from what I think is the easiest to the hardest integrations or the ones that require the least number of extra steps to the most. But I will say the last two integrations we'll talk about today are the ones that I use day in and day out. Now you don't have to worry about scribbling down any notes. I've got links to everything down in the description and I've also got an accompanying blog post that'll have all of the links to the different GitHub repos and integrations, also examples of how I use them. So you can find that in the description or this link here on screen. So let's jump into the first integration. Now, when most people get started with Govi and Home Assistant, the first thing they're gonna do is jump over into Home Assistant and drill down into the integrations tab and look for anything with the word Govi in it. So if we hop over into our integrations tab, click add integration and search for Govi. So once you get the integration added in, most people are gonna be prompted with the no devices found on network message. Now this is actually because this integration is intended for the Govi BLE sensors, not the lights. So if you dig down through the documentation, you'll see that. But from what I've seen online, a lot of folks get confused and they think this is how you integrate Govi lights. So of course this is a dead end. This is not something that's gonna work if you're trying to get your lights integrated. But not to worry, there are plenty of options out there. That's where our next option comes in. All following integrations, we're getting out of the realm of what's built into Home Assistant and we're gonna to have to add in some custom integrations. And of course, the number one tool to get this done is the Home Assistant Community Store or Hacks. Now, I've done a video in the past on how to actually get this set up. It's very easy, so nothing to worry about. I've got a link right up here or down in the description. Once you get that completely set up, you can jump back into this video and continue. So for our second integration, we're gonna stick with Bluetooth. So for this integration, we're gonna be looking at the Govi Bluetooth lights add-on from user Tim Nicholas. So with Bluetooth, of course, we've got the limitation of only being able to communicate to them if one, your home assistant instance actually has Bluetooth on it, and two, it's within range, about 30 feet of your Govi lights. This add-on will actually give you the ability to talk to Govi lights via Bluetooth right from inside a home assistant. So to get that set up, we'll go over to the hack store, go to integrations. So for this particular integration, we're gonna have to install a custom repository into Hacks, which is super simple. We just go to the GitHub page, copy the URL, and then back in Hacks, go to the three dots in the top right-hand corner, click custom repositories, and then we're gonna paste that URL into the top box and then select integrations. Once we save and go back, we should be able to search and find the Govi Bluetooth Lights integration. So from here, we wanna click and search for Govi, and we'll actually find a integration called Govi Bluetooth Lights. Now, there isn't really a readme file in here for this particular integration, but you can go ahead and click the install button in the bottom right-hand corner, 
and get it set up. Now, of course, with all of these integrations, you're going to have to follow the directions in Hacks and restart Home Assistant to be able to have it show up automatically in your integrations tab. Now, of course, I've done this for all these integrations, so that's why they show up on my screen automatically. So once you get this installed, you can go back, reboot Home Assistant, jump back into your settings, integrations, and then click add integration. Then if we search for Govi, we'll see Govi Bluetooth Lights as an option. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna search out a bunch of BLE devices in your home and prompt you if it's what you wanna to connect to. So right here we see a Govi Light because it's in the name. I can click on that, click submit, and it's gonna go ahead and get it set up. So of course, repeat this process for each of the lights you wanna control. So we'll click on the Govi Bluetooth Light, the H610A, and then we see a light added in here. One thing to note though is just because Home Assistant can see the light doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna be able to control the light. Because it's Bluetooth, it doesn't have an ability to get an, a status update from the lights. It actually has to communicate every time. So to change the state of the light will be how you refresh it and see what the status is. This integration has an advantage of being directly controllable so you don't have any cloud or network requirements. But unless you have a very small home or your lights are directly next to your home assistant install, then you might have issues communicating with them. So as you can see here, because these lights are actually upstairs in my office, I can't actually communicate with them. I can see them, but I can't reliably control them. This obviously doesn't work for me in my environment, but it may work fine for you, especially if you have a smaller space. So if this integration doesn't work for you or you're looking for a different type of control, the next thing we can move on to is network-based control. All right, so for our third integration, we're going to move to the cloud. This is actually called the Govi Cloud API integration, and it's from user Lagat. So this integration works only with the Govi lights that have Wi-Fi connectivity on them. So most of the modern lights, including the ones you see here around my office, have that capability. So if you wanted to connect to those lights and you don't mind connecting through a cloud integration, then this might be a good fit for you. Now, again, to get this one installed, we'll click on Hacks, go to our integrations, and then we're gonna go down here and search for Govi Cloud. Now, this is actually the Govi Cloud integration, but in Hacks, it's just called Govi. So again, I've already got it installed, but if you don't, you can see the download and install button down here in the corner. Then Hacks will tell you to go ahead and restart Home Assistant. And once that's back up and operational, you can go back and add it to your integrations. So we'll click Settings. All right, so now that we're in Integrations, we'll click Add Integration. And then we're gonna search for Govi. Now again, this one's gonna just show up with the word Govi, not Govi Cloud API. So search for Govi and we'll see the integration that's just called Govi. Now we'll know that this is the right one because we can see the cloud icon and we can see it's a custom integration with a little box. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna go ahead and get it set up. Now to set this up, we're gonna need one more item and that's an API key from the Govi Home app. So to get this out of the Govi app, all we have to do is open up our Govi app, click on the account icon, which is the little person in the bottom right-hand corner. Then we'll click the gear icon at the top right-hand corner and click where it says apply for API key. So in here, you're gonna to need to put in your name and the reason why you're applying, typically for home assistant integration. Then check if you agree with the terms of service and click submit. Then you should get an automated email with that new API key that you can use with the integration. So now it's gonna ask us for that API key, so we need to jump into our email and grab that. Remember, it's gonna take a couple minutes for the key to get automatically generated and sent over to you. So we're gonna paste in our API key, and we're gonna leave the poll interval at 10. Now, if you do have a lot of devices, you'll have to probably increase this poll interval because it only supports, I believe, 10,000 commands per day. And so if you have too many devices, you'll actually run this over. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set mine to 30 and click submit. So you'll see all of my devices have been added in here and then click finish. Now, if I click on the Govi integration and then devices, I'll see all the devices that I've got set up here. Now, I'll talk a little bit more about how the control works here in the next section because it is identical with this integration and the next one. All right, so now that we have the cloud integration out of the way, let's look at some local control options. One quick honorable mention, there's actually a HomeBridge project called Ultimate Govi that promises to add a lot more features than even the integrations I'm gonna talk about next. I've been playing with it a little bit, but I'm not super experienced with HomeBridge, so I haven't been able to really control it as well as I wanted to. It does look like it supports Bluetooth and cloud integration, so it might be something worth checking out. All right, now we're getting into the last two integrations and specifically these are the ones that I'd use day in and day out. So the next one is actually the LAN control Govi project. Now this is by user Wes, W-E-Z, maybe that's how it's pronounced. But this integration, very similar to the last one, can let you do some basic control over your Govi lights, treating them like any other light you'd find in Home Assistant. The difference is it's a local LAN communication, which is a feature of most of the Gobi lights that are out there. But you have to make one quick setting change per light 
in order to set this up. Before we get the integration set up, let me show you how to activate LAN control on your device. So you're gonna go in and find any device that's network connected, click on the device, then click the setting icon on the top right-hand corner, and then right below you'll see an option for LAN control. Make sure this is turned on. Go ahead and read the warning and hit confirm. Now, once you do that, you can utilize the local API to communicate directly with your Govee lights, which is pretty neat. So again, doesn't require the cloud. Make sure you do this on any light that you want to have configured in this way. So again, to get this set up, we need to go into Hacks, Integrations, and we're going to search for Govee LAN. Once you find it, it'll be called Govee LAN Control, and it should look something like this. You need to be able to activate the LAN control for each individual device. And please note, not every single device has this feature on it. So this would, so this would only work if that light supports it. So once you get this installed and rebooted Home Assistant, we'll go to Settings, Integrations, and we can click Add Integration to set this up. Now the cool thing is, is this will automatically add new lights that are compatible when you install them. So you just have to set this up one time, and then it'll automatically refresh and find new Govee lights on your network. So click Add Integration, we'll search for Govee again, and this time we'll see Govee LAN Control. So now it's gonna ask us for an API key. So this is actually the same Govee API key we applied for in the last step. It works for the LAN as well. So we'll go ahead and grab that out of the email you received from Govee, which now it's been set up and it will actually utilize the cloud to get information about your devices and then communicate with them locally. So you can see all the various lights that I have and I could add these into different areas, but I'll skip that for right now. And then the integration is just called Govee Lights. So click on that, click on devices, and it's gonna show all the devices and it pulls the device names actually from the Govee app. So that's very convenient. So if we see the Glide Livelies that I have right behind my head here, now, since it's the first time that I've activated this, I actually have to turn it on. So I can click the turn on button and then it should refresh and show it's online. Now, just like the last integration, you don't have a ton of options when it comes to the Gobi lights. You can only really control the lights as a single unit as a standard light. So of course you can turn them off and on. So off, you can turn them back on again. You can change the brightness. So if they're currently running a preset, it'll just change the, the brightness of the preset. You can change it to different colors if you want. So you can click the color wheel and select any color you'd like. You can go over to the white mode and change it from warm white to cold white. But as you can see, you don't have access to the individual LEDs or any of the presets. So that's the limitation of all of these current API integrations is that you only have basic levels of control. Hopefully Gobi will allow us to get more control here in the future via those APIs, but not to worry. The last integration I'll talk about through a few hacks will actually allow you to activate certain presets on your Gobi lights. So let's hop into that one. So for our last integration, we're gonna use a little bit of a hack in order to control our Gobi lights. Now you may or may not know that the Gobi lights of course can be controlled using Google Assistant or Alexa. And this control will actually allow you to run certain aspects of the Govee app, specifically the presets, using your voice. Now, Home Assistant actually has an integration that came out earlier this year that lets you run Google commands through the Google Assistant inside of Home Assistant. So you can initiate a text command. It'll be just like you used your voice to turn on a device or activate a specific item. So before we get into that, you wanna set up a preset in your Govee app. So if you haven't set this up before, it's pretty easy to set up different presets to activate with one click. They're actually called tap to run in the app. And the cool thing is any of these can be referenced inside of Google Assistant. So you'd say the wake word for the Google Assistant, activate, and then the name of the tap to run. So in my case, if I were to say that right now, with any of these items in here, eye relaxation, dim landscape lights, any of those commands, it would pick those up and run those automatically. But you have to make sure it's a unique name. It's not the name of another device that you have connected in Home Assistant or something that's not gonna get confused with another command. So you might wanna make it a little bit longer than you normally would think of. So for example, if I go into my Bright Landscape preset, you can see all the different lights and what they do. So for example, if I click plus on this one, I could activate a music or a scenic dream view or activate any of the lights that aren't currently on. So let's take a look at my back deck lights. These are some of the new ones that I was sent. These are actually pretty cool because they replace existing outdoor hanging lights and they have two LEDs per light string. So you can actually control the bottom light, the main light, and the little auxiliary light at the top. This is cool because you can make all sorts of different patterns. And of course, every single light is RGBIC, so you can control each of them one at a time. So if I click on back deck lights, I can go select whether they turn on or off, what brightness they're at, if I wanna do a color temperature, and you can also copy it from another one in that same scene. You can set it to a specific color, 
or you can put it into a mode. And this is using all those preset scenes that Govi has. You can activate one of those and those will turn on when this is pressed. You can also do any of the DIYs that you've created yourself, which if you're interested in how to create those, let me know down in the comments and I can create a dedicated video on that later on. So from here, I can select any of my DIYs, hit confirm and click the plus button. And when this tap to run is activated, it'll automatically run all these items. So you wanna come into the Govi app and set all of these up with whatever scene that you wanna activate. And the cool thing is, is if you activate a scene, you can go in there and tell it to turn certain lights off. So if you wanted to activate a scene that was unique and then you wanna go back to a different scene. So say for example, I wanna have my outside lights turn on to a Christmas theme. And then at midnight, I want them to go back into normal landscape mode. I can actually set it up to where the dim landscape, which is what I use, will turn off the other lights in case I'm not wanting to use them. So once you have that all set with a custom unique name, now we'll hop back into Home Assistant. So in Home Assistant, this integration is available built in after I think 2023-03 of this year. So we can go back to settings and integrations. You'll click plus add integration and you'll search for Google. And you should have the option under Google to do the Google Assistant. And it's called the Google Assistant SDK. This is the one that lets you actually directly integrate with the Google Assistant. And I did a whole video on how to use this, uh, which I've got links up here or down below. So I'm not gonna go through how to set that up today. Once you do get that set up, you'll have an entry in here and you'll see there's no devices activated. That's because this is all done through either automations or an event. So let's hop into an automation that I use daily. I'll click on settings, automations, and we'll look at landscape lights. So every day at midnight, I tell Google Assistant SDK to activate my dim landscape lights. So again, this could be any trigger you want, doors opening, doors closing, motion, person coming home, whatever you decide, you can activate that here. Add separate conditions, and then under actions, you can say, send a text command. So this will be a new service that you'll have in Home Assistant called Google Assistant SDK, send text command. So you can select that, and then you'll wanna give the command. This is where we're going to activate the specific tap to run in the Govi app. Now, of course, here I'm assuming you've already set up the Govi integration in the Home app for Google. And if not, it's pretty simple. You just have to go into the Home app, hit plus, and then search for Govi. Once that's all set up and you can see your devices in there, then we can proceed with this one. All right, so the command is gonna be activate and then the name of the tap to run. So again, this is why we wanna have that tap to run be a unique name. So if you had a light called landscape, it might get confused and Google gets confused a lot. So it's gonna run that word activate landscape dim and to test this, you can bring up your Google app and either type in or say that specific command and see if it activates the way you want it to. If it doesn't, I might look at changing that name to something more unique. Once this is set up though, anytime this automation runs, it'll activate this preset automatically, which is pretty cool. So as you can see here, this is super powerful. You can use this to automate almost anything you want with your Govi lights. And of course, you could use this method with anything else that you can control in Home Assistant or with Google Assistant. So if you have another light manufacturer that doesn't have a native Home Assistant integration, you can actually integrate those lights in the same exact manner, as long as it supports the ability to use Google Assistant to run a scene or something like that. And that's a wrap, neighbors. Hopefully now you have a new method and some ideas for controlling your Gobi lights with Home Assistant. If you wanna add some more fun lighting to your home, then check out the product links in the description to see all the stuff that I currently have in my home. Now, if you're watching this the day that it comes out, check back tomorrow for part two, where we look at a fun method that will help you integrate Home Assistant with your favorite sports team. So once the other video's out, you can find it right over here. Or if you're getting started with Home Assistant, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more smart home adventures. Until next time, stay smart.